right guys uh, today uh, I'm making a video on a on a car which is leaking the coolant uh, it's uh, 2002 Toyota Corolla Verso and uh, it's uh, 1.8 VVTi it's got an issue with the with the coolant leak it's leaking coolant somewhere uh, it's uh, it's a minor leak because uh, uh, we couldn't detect it uh, we had a look all around the engine block we had a look uh, under the radiator and uh, even inside the cab cabin for the heater matrix uh, leak and uh, so we could not detect the leak uh, it could be water pump leaking it from somewhere like you know a very minor leak so we're gonna fix this uh, problem with uh, let me just uh, screw the uh, one up Yes, we're gonna skew the leak with the, this thing called K-seal and uh, that one, uh, I mean this one is, it says that coolant leak repair multi-purpose one step, yeah? So this one uh, is uh, for head gasket repair, block head cylinder or radiator. Even it says on the bottom here, if you can see it on the right, right at the bottom, it says also for water pump casing heater core and uh, freeze plug so we're just gonna try this on and uh, uh, see how it goes to start off with uh, we're just gonna as uh, directed in the instruction uh, it says that you need to shake it rigorously and then um, according to the instruction you can put it into the in straight into the radiator or you can put it into the uh, reserve tank so in our case uh, we're gonna put it in the reserve tank and we're gonna add some more coolant to the uh, reserve tank and uh, yes yeah, so um, we're just gonna pour it into the reserve tank It's got a metallic color to it, if you can see it uh, in the video. Uh, I got a feeling that it's got some copper bits, which will do the magic. So I'm just gonna mix some more water with it. So I'm gonna mix a little bit coolant into this bottle. Right, now I'm gonna add uh, some more coolant to it because uh, the coolant level is uh, uh, really low. So just gonna add coolant. bit windy so oh, bear with us yeah so that's enough cool. now that uh, we have uh, filled it with uh, with the case seal as well as uh, uh, topped it up with uh, some more coolant now we're gonna start the engine and uh, um, we will have to start the engine with the uh, heater at uh, full speed, at full blast, so that uh, 
the water can circulate into the engine block as well as into the uh, heater matrix and uh, also all over the place yes so okay now that we have started the engine and uh, we'll have to put the heater uh, blower at the full speed Temp one minute right that's sack on so just one minute yeah so as you can see you can put the heat right full blast with the with the temperature at uh, Keep it running for 15 minutes and then uh, we'll see the results hopefully it's gonna do the magic yes we are um, running the hat heat at the full blast right guys as uh, instructed uh, uh, by the manufacturer of uh, that case he'll uh, we have to run the car for at least 15 20 minutes and uh, that will be enough for the coolant to circulate all over the place everywhere into the engine block as well as into the heater matrix to do its uh, magic thank you very much for watching the video hopefully it's gonna be a success thanks guys